Hi guys, welcome to the first video of Ghost Maker's YouTube channel. In this video we will create a game like Hill Climb Racing. This is the game we will create in the end of this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. I have downloaded some of the graphics from internet and created some of them myself. Let's create the car first, drag the car body image to the scene, rename it to car. Then add wheel image to car as child. Duplicate it to create another wheel, reposition both. Add rigid body 2D to the car. Add polygon collider. Add wheel joint 2D twice, wheel joint 2D is the component that simulate wheel, remember to add to the parent not to the child unless you want funny irregular movements. Add rigid body 2D and circle collider 2D to both of the wheel game objects. Assign wheel game objects to wheel joint 2D components of the car respectively. Set auto configure to false to both wheel joint 2D components. Change value of anchor to some value then you will be able to move anchor in scene using mouse, then drag anchor using mouse to below of the center of wheel, do this for both wheels. That's the basic wheel setup of our car. Now create a new game object and add a collider to it to check if our car works. Hit play. It works. Now drag car to prefabs folder to create a prefab of it. Let's add player head to the car, add head graphic to scene and make it child of car and reposition it. Now that looks good. Create a new C-sharp script named car that will control our car. Remove these directives, we don't need them, remove start method. Create a float called speed that will be speed of our car. Create a class axle outside of the car class with attribute system dot serializable that makes it serialize its members in inspector. Create a rigid body 2D called will and a float called speed multiplier. Remove update method, we don't need it. Create an array called axles of type axle. Create on gas and on brake methods that we will call on buttons. Call set torque method in on gas method and pass speed variable in it. Do the same in on brake method. In on gas method, pass negative of speed variable because a rigid body rolls to right if negative torque is applied. Now create set torque method with parameter speed. Create for each loop in it that loops through axles array. Add speed multiplied by speed multiplier torque to current axles wheel rigid body. Add newly created car script to the R car game object, set speed to required amount, I will set it to 100. Set axles array size to 2, set both speed multiplier to 1 for now and, and assign wheels rigid bodies to wheels respectively. Create new C-sharp script called car pedal that will control UI button for gas and brake. Remove these directives and add Unity Engine systems. Implement interfaces I pointer down handler and I pointer up handler. Remove start and update methods. Create new sprite variables called default graphic and pressed graphic that we will use to show press state. Create new image variable called graphic component. Create start method and graphic component dot sprite to default graphic. Create new private bool called is mouse down. Set is mouse down to true in on pointer down method. And false in on pointer up method. Create update method. Check if is mouse down is true. Create public unity event called on mouse and invoke it in the if block of update method. Also I forgot to change image graphic on mouse down and up. In on pointer down set graphic components sprite to press sprite.
and set it to default sprite in on pointer up method, back to Unity. Create new UI image and rename it to break button. Set default image. Add car pedal script to it and add sprites and assign image component. Add car game objects on break method to the on mouse event. Duplicate break button and rename it to gas button. Reposition it. Change image sprite and car pedal script sprites. Assign image component. Add car game objects on gas method to the on mouse event, save it and hit play. Button works well. Oops she fell down. Let's increase both wheels rigid bodies to 1, higher drag means faster the car stops after torque applied. Hit play again and see. Now it's better. Now let's create environment for our game. Go to package manager and install 2D sprite shape package. In project view, go to any folder, in my case it's graphics and right click select sprite shape profile and closed shape. Rename it to ground. Add fill texture to the fill texture field of the asset, scroll down to sprites. Click plus to create new field and assign ground surface sprite to it. Drag the ground sprite shape to the scene. Reposition it. And click edit tangent button. Drag sprite shape bounding points to adjust its size and shape. Create ups and downs on it just by clicking the mouse button in edit mode and dragging up and down. If you look closely, it makes corners but we want it to be smooth like a curve. It is cornered because it has selected linear tangent mode. Click every point and set tangent mode to continuous to make it smooth. Create more ups and downs. Now we need a collider on it, good thing about sprite shape is that it automatically updates edge collider according to the shape. Add edge collider to the ground object. Oops I forgot to close sprite shape edit mode. The collider is in the middle of the shape, we can offset it using sprite shapes offset variable in collider section, set it near the surface of ground. I set it little bit down the ground, make sure update collider checkbox is checked. Hit play. As we can see the car is running on our ground but it goes out of camera view, let's see it in scene view. It's working perfectly. Also the car is too big. Let's scale it down a little bit. Also move it to the left of the screen. Create new script called camera controller that makes the camera follow the player. Remove these two directives. Create new variable car of type transform. Create new variable float follow speed of type float. Create a private vector 3 called offset. In start method, set offset to transform.position minus car.position. In update method, set transform.position to lerp value between transform.position and car.position added to offset with follow speed as lerp amount. Back to Unity. Add the camera controller script to the main camera game object. Assign car game object to car variable and set speed to 0.1. Hit play and see. I notice some shaky movement as camera follows the car. It is because car is powered by physics and physics works in fixed update of mono behavior. Change camera controller's update method to fixed update. 
Hit play again. And it works. Now it feels like camera follow speed is little bit slow, it needs to be faster. Let's set it to 0.25. Let's set camera background color to something lighter than dark blue. The girl's head looks so rigid that is doesn't move as car moves, let's make it look natural. Select head child of car game object, add rigid body 2D to it. Add hinge joint 2D. Disable auto configure bool and adjust connected anchor value then drag it in scene view to the neck of the player. Do the same of the anchor, adjust value, and then drag it to the neck of the player. Check use limits checkbox. Set angle limits to minus 15 and 15. Oops I forgot to add connected rigid body, add car rigid body to the hinge joint and configure anchors again. Save the prefab. Hit play. It feels like she's carrying Hulk's head. It is because the head rigid body is too much heavy. Let's reduce its mass, set it to 0.1. Save the prefab again. Hit play. That's it. That is enough for our first tutorial. Stay tuned, like and subscribe if you already haven't. Goodbye, see you again. This is Ghost Maker.